good morning students we have been discussing the complex number for the past few video lectures and this is about uh, the function of variable we discussed differentiability analytic functions harmonic functions complex integration contour integration also we discussed cauchy riemann conditions and singular points cauchy integral theorem and integral formula all those things we discussed in fact the cauchy rusty theorem and its applications it is in the syllabus later but we discussed this one in the last video lecture so in the last video lecture we discussed cauchy rusty theorem and its uh, few applications we discussed so this unit has been divided into three parts so this is about uh, complex numbers we discussed uh, all the things cauchy rusty theorem cauchy integral theorem cauchy integral formula cauchy riemann equations and all those things will come under in the first section and in the second section that we are going today and we are going to discuss today and uh, next classes on power series this is about taylor series and lorentz series which are very very important in solving some tds problems and the third one is the applications the applications of uh, complex number which is nothing but the potential uh, uh, theory electrostatic fields complex potentials parallel plates coaxial cylinders and an annular region and some problems on uh, heat problems parallel plates and coaxial cylinders so these are all uh, applications of complex numbers i have already told you um, about the applications of complex number especially on uh, gravitational field and satellite the trajectory motion in a satellite and all those things it has been used complex numbers are very very important so this section there are uh, three sections there are three sections and we have already discussed and we have, we have already discussed this one also rusty theorem and its applications also we discussed and today we are going to discuss about taylor series okay this section we are going to devote on taylor series and taylor series and lorentz series in between one maclaurin series exists so we have taylor series maclaurin series which is out of syllabus for you however we are going to discuss some small definition on maclaurin series and lorentz series so we are, we are going to discuss mainly on taylor series and lorentz series maclaurin series is a special class of taylor series taylor series is a special class of lorentz series all those series they come under power series so what is a power series in complex number what is the meaning of a series here so we are going to add different terms for example when you take the first term x for example z or x y equal to mx plus c e, if c equal 0 m is equal to 1 we can say that y equals x as a equation of a straight line we know already suppose y equals x square y equals x so this is parabola equation what of y equals x cube x to the power 4 they are all higher terms suppose in an equation if we have x x square x cube x to the power 4 and goes on x is a straight line equation what we call this as a linear equation x square x to the power 3 x to the power 4 they all come under non linear equations non linear terms are very very important in physics whenever we look uh, for the atomic uh, phenomena absorption and emission absorption usually will go with complex numbers so non linear terms which will which have been involved automatically in uh, absorption so non linear terms are very very important so that's the reason that power series are very important so we are going to solve some tds problems using power series and analytic function also will exist complex number also will exist and we are going to discuss all the three all the two series one series is out of syllabus for you maclaurin series is out of syllabus for you okay so we are going to discuss taylor series and lorentz series so that's the idea taylor series is a special case of lorentz series so we'll discuss what is a power series first an infinite series of the form if it is this form summation over n equal 0 to infinity an is up to the power e equals a not plus a1 is at plus a2 is at square dot 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 an is at n what we call this as series series term 
look at the term this is your constant this is your z what of this one this is z square so they will come under non linear effect so this will come under linear effect sometimes linear uh, will will give some good contribution most of the times non linear terms will give good contribution okay for any experimental work so where the coefficients a not a1 a2 dot 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 an and z are complex numbers so it is called power series so this is called power series every complex power series this is the term ak z minus z not to the power k has residues of convergence r and has a circle of convergence defined by this uh, this term z minus z not mod z which is nothing but radius r radius lies between 0 and infinity okay taylor series the definition of taylor series nothing but it's a real or a complex valued function f of z already we know about f of z is nothing but a complex function z equals x plus i y so it's a complex function that is infinitely infinitely differentiable of a real or a complex number a is the power series so definition is uh, uh, this is a definition for your uh, taylor series we will see the actual uh, uh, definition for a uh, taylor series later so power series can be written in terms of summation of geometric series so they are all uh, geometric series so these are the introduction about uh, power series okay so sigma over n equal 0 to infinity z to the power n which is equal to this z to the power can be expanded when n equal 0 so this is 1 okay correct n equal to 0 anything to the power 0 is 1 so 1 n equals 1 you have z when n equals 2 you have z square okay so z to the power can be expanded in terms of series like this linear and non linear terms and the same series also can be written in terms of 1 divided by 1 minus z so if I, suppose f of z equals 1 divided by 1 minus z so that will be 1 plus z plus z square where mod z is less than 1 so look at the diagram if mod z is less than 1 we always go with the taylor series if mod z is greater than 1 we always go with lorentz series we'll see okay later the power series for f of z converges into the unit circle and diverges outside the unit circle so it converges inside inside the circle and it diverges outside the circle it oscillates okay it oscillates does not converge on the unit circle okay on the unit circle so we have three sections one is inside another one is outside then another one is on the circle so we have three 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 sections three divisions now for z is greater than 1 we can use another series representation as i said earlier 1 divided by 1 minus z can be written as i have i have pulled i have written this one 1 minus z as i have pulled z out and i have changed 1 minus z can be written as z minus 1 minus z minus 1 i have pulled this minus sign out i repeat 1 divided by 1 minus z can be written as 1 minus z i can write minus z minus 1 correct this minus is here so z minus 1 i can pull z out so that will give me z 1 minus 1 divided by z is it okay otherwise multiply by z this is this will be z minus 1 you reverse it minus 1 minus z see with the minus sign minus one get cancel you have 1 divided by 1 minus z so this term can be written as exactly like this okay so minus 1 by minus 1 divided by z and remaining thing 1 minus z i can pull it to the numerator that will be 1 minus 1 divided by z to the power minus 1 that can be expanded is it is it clear 1 divided by see here 1 divided by 1 minus z 1 minus z to the power minus 1 okay then i can expand this 1 plus 1 divided by z plus 1 by z square and i can multiply these two and get the series so this is ordinary geometric series with 1 by z okay so 1 divided by 1 minus z this can be written as exactly with the summation with the summation form so this is expanded form this is summation form this minus sign is somewhere here 1 divided by z z to the power minus 
So these are all uh, different representations of geometric series. Now we are going to generalize now. So this is the idea about Taylor series and Laurent series. As I said earlier, inside the circle only Taylor series will, will, will be valid. Outside the circle we are going to have with Laurent series. Okay, these two series that we are going to deal with in this section. So now we are going to generalize. 1 divided by z minus zp. zp is any point somewhere inside the circle, inside. Okay. So mod z is less than zp. See zp is somewhere here. Your z is inside. Mod z is your radius. zp is on the circle. If zp is less than mod z, then 1 divided by 1 minus zp which is equal to the same technique that we are going to use. We are going to interchange zp minus z with a minus sign that minus is sign is here, you pull zp out, so zp 1 minus z divided by zp, then you just bring this term to the numerator, so that will be 1 minus z by zp to the power minus 1, that can be expanded in terms of series like this. Okay, if mod z by zp is less than 1, so it implies that you pull zp that side, that will give you mod z less than zp. So mod z less than z. So this series is known as Taylor series. Okay. If mod z is less than z p. So this this is called Taylor series. And what of the other other case? One divided by one minus z p. As usual, you are going to pull now z out. So one divided by z z one minus z p by z. Again, take this one to the numerator. So you will get the series like this. So this time you have zp divided by z is less than 1. So you pull z that side. So that will give you z is now greater than that of zp. So z is greater than that of zp. What we call this as Laurent series. So we have two series now. One is Laurent series, another one is uh, uh, Taylor series. So in this class we are going to discuss the Taylor series elaborately with lot of uh, problems so that you will understand where the Taylor series is used, especially in complex numbers. Okay. So, what are the uses of uh, Taylor series? We have already discussed about the uses earlier, about linear term and non-linear term. So, those non-linear terms are very, very important in, in research field, especially in, as I said earlier, in atomic phenomena, where we are going to study about absorption and emission. Absorption, the contribution of absorption will be taken only by the complex number. That can be represented in terms of only by the complex number. Okay, that's the reason that always we go with for all the series that includes linear term and non-linear terms. Okay. The, the partial sums, some of the series, the Taylor polynomials of the series can be used as approximations of the entire function. These approximations are good if sufficiently many terms are included. Sometimes you will get the correct answer if you are going to include the non-linear term with the linear term. Okay, the second one, differentiation and integrations are very important of power series that can be performed term, term by term and is sense particularly easy. Okay, an analytic function is uniquely extended to a holomorphic function on an open interval in the complex plane. This makes the machinery of complex analysis available. So these are all some uses. So before uh, discussing about Taylor, se Taylor series and uh, Lorentz series, we should know about some series. Okay, at least you'll have to have in your mind. One divided by one minus is a, as I said earlier, one minus is a to the power minus one that can be expanded, and this is the expansion form, and this is the summation form. Summation summation over n equals zero to infinity is a to the power can be expanded like this. Okay, you substitute n equals 0 here the first term, n equals 1 you will have second term, n equals 3 you will have third term. So this is expanded geometric series, whereas this is your summation form. Similarly 1 divided by 1 plus z, again you just bring 1 plus z to the numerator, 1 plus z to the power minus 1, so that will that can be expanded like this and you have the summation form. And e power z which is very very important throughout your uh, postgraduate physics. Okay, e power z, e power x, often you have to expand, e power x, very very important term. e power z is a combination of real part and imaginary part, we should not forget this one. 
so e power z always will denote real part with complex numbers so e power z which is equal to 1 plus z plus z squared by 2 factorial that can be expanded like this and the summation form is exactly like this is to the power divided by n factorial okay sin z sin z probably you would have studied in mathemat mathematics earlier so z minus z cube by 3 factorial plus z to the power 5 by 5 factorial goes on and the summation form is given by this okay then cos z cos z can be expanded like this 1 minus z squared by 2 factorial plus z to the power by 4 factorial and goes on and this is your summation form for cos z similarly ln 1 plus z ln 1 plus z see here we have only z z z alone but here it is 1 plus z so it's a different form which we'll see later okay i'll discuss 1 plus z now it is not ln z it is ln 1 plus z so this is different one and uh, the expansion of uh, geometric series for ln 1 plus z is given by this and uh, summation form is given by this so these are some of some uh, important series that we should remember okay now now we have come to the uh, problems on taylor series so we are going to discuss few problems on taylor series expand f of z equals sin z using taylor series about z equal to 0 and z equal to pi by 2 so we have now two divisions now we are going to expand f of z sin z we are going to expand sin z using taylor series the first section will be at z equal to 0 the second one will be at z equal to pi by 2 it's very very easier uh, problem okay very very easier now the taylor series of uh, for of f of z at a is given by this formula so this is the formula for taylor series at a at the point a f of z equals f of a plus z minus a f dash of a okay this dash of a plus z minus a squared by 2 factorial f double dash of a then next term will be z minus a whole cube divided by 3 factorial f to the power 3 3 of a and goes on is it okay so you have to remember this formula now is very very easy here f dash of a is differentiation of first order you are going to differentiate two times f double dash means you are going to differentiate two times f3 means you are going to differentiate three terms and substitute the value the values are 0 and pi by 2 first we are going to substitute f of z is given as sin z now what is z equal to 0 is given so f of 0 will be sin 0 is equal to 0 is it okay first term is over very very simple one simple formula you know to you know to have the knowledge of differentiation and substituting that's all see i repeat given that f of z equals sin z f of 0 because given as z equal to 0 so your f of 0 equals sin 0 0 okay sin 0 0 and uh, f dash of z you will differentiate sin z with respect to z that will give you cos z f of 0 equals cos 0 which is equal to 1 so, okay simple one now f double dash of z cos z when you have to differentiate cos z that will be minus sin z what about f uh, double f double dash of 0 minus sin 0 sin 0 is 0 so that will be 0 f triple dash of z will be sin z we have to differentiate the cos z already one minus sin exists so minus cos z which is equal to f triple dash of 0 which minus cos 0 cos 0 is 1 so you will have to have minus 1 at least minimum you will have to have minimum you will have to have 3 terms minimum usually we will go with the Taylor series at least if existence with the values you will have to have minimum 3 terms with the values but here we have done 4 values but we have done only for 2 values here we have done for 4 values out of 4 values 2 values become 0 other 2 values exist but what we are going to concern is minimum 3 values you have to go with so you have to differentiate again and get the value minimum you have to do now you substitute here so we are going to substitute now in this equation so f of z equals sin z which is equal to f of 0 plus you look at the formula z minus a so z minus 0 correct so z f 
f dash of 0 f dash of 0 is 1 see f dash of 0 is 1 1 multiplied by z is it so is it f dash of 0 is it okay plus z square by 2 factorial f double dash of 0 you just substitute here f of 0 is nothing but 0 z is here f dash of 0 is nothing but 1 number should I have 1 half an hour also 